from the Penn Libraries. Hi everyone, as Anu said, I'm a postdoctoral fellow here. I also got my PhD at Penn in Anthropology and Education. Um, as a member of CAMERA, just a quick overview of what CAMERA does, it thinks about the changing paradigm of research in the 21st century, especially incorporating multimodal techniques into research. So what does it mean to not have text as our primary foci when we're creating, say, a dissertation or a publication? Um, and as part of what we're trying to do with CAM, we're trying to think about how to think with film. And so I want to start maybe pointing out a couple of the dilemmas we're facing through a course that I've done, that I've been teaching the last couple years called Globalization and the City. What you have here is an interactive map, which I've been working on with Weigel to start mapping the different places that students are interested in studying in the course. And just as an overview of the course, um, I'm really having students, it's a course run through so the sociology department and urban studies, but we get majors from all over the university, both master's level, undergrads, and a couple PhD students who are just interested in the concepts. And the question that kind of is the focus of the course is, how are cities changing in the era of globalization? And so you have some correlate questions that come out of that. What is globalization as an economic, political, and cultural process? And how does that correlate with urbanization of different types? Are there specificities in different cities that make us see globalization differently? And so as part of that, of course, it's a heavy reading course. But, it's, but what we do as the final products is we create found footage films. And so that's really the entrance into thinking about how to teach with film. And there are kind of three spaces that film comes in. And the first thing is, a lot of times, I think we as pedagogues are trying to get students to be curious about the content of the course. And we think that perhaps film is the way to do that. And I've actually found, in most cases, that tends not to be true at all, um, mainly because I think students are already consuming film and media all the time, and so another kind of passive engagement with film does very little to, to move the needle at all. And so kind of the two things that we start the course thinking about is one, film not just as a passive viewing experience, but as a making experience in the classroom. So the only time that we can start getting film to be a way of engaging the curiosity, our, my students' curiosity in globalization is through the making process itself. The second piece there is, it's really important to think about the form as related to the content. So when we start the course, we think about globalization as really partly based on media circulations. And to understand globalization as a concept is to understand how images get created and how they get juxtaposed. And when students start to think that way, it really helps them understand why we incorporate film into, into the classroom, not just as an add-on. The second part of that is to think about the film not just as an entertainment object, but as an essay. So what is it about a film that can be as argumentative as, say, a text? And this is something that we think about a lot in class, because a lot of times students see a film as kind of way more passive than, and I'm going to try to do this really quick, way more passive. And so how do we create citationality within a film, and how do we really make sure that there's an argument incorporated? The last thing is how do we evaluate it? So what we've tried to do now is because students realize that when we have to show a film, there's kind of another level of seriousness to the endeavor, they feel a little more challenged to make something that's really unique and interesting. So we have a judging process, which is not just me, but their students, their fellow classmates, and a panel of judges that come in to really think about what the films are and how well they really uh, capture the theme of the global city. Um, I'm gonna stop there. I would love to talk more about the essay film as a genre. This is the website, you can, and I'll, have, I'll send this link out, and you can kind of see the different films that they've made from across the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.